Hey guys, it's Friday. Sorry about the slightly weird lighting thing. Um, I usually film my videos in the daylight hours, but that has failed to happen today because I didn't get up until sometime in the afternoon. That is one of the advantages of doing a subject like English where you have very little structured contact time. Uh, it means if you're like me and verging on being a bit nocturnal, it basically doesn't matter. On Saturday, uh, we had the Termly Mansfield Open Mic, which is something that I took over the organising of a few times ago. I can even remember his name. Why you're so upset? Baby, you weren't there. And I was thinking of you when I of my favourite parts of um, the term, always. On Sunday, um, I went to see some of my friends playing Quidditch in the first British World Cup, I think. The block I live in in college uh, is populated half the time with people from the Oxford Quidditch team, um, which basically is just what it sounds like, people running around with brooms playing Quidditch like they do in Harry Potter, except that they're on the ground. They won, which was super awesome, and there was just a lot of happy vibes going around. That's one of the cool things about Oxford, I guess, is that there's so, so many different sports and societies. Whatever you enjoy doing, even if it is the most obscure and crazy thing ever, there will probably already be a society or a sport for that thing, and if there isn't, it's pretty easy to start saying. Here we have Quidditch's in their natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> they form circles when they're eyeing up their prey. On Sunday evening we also had presidential husks, so we now have a new JCR president. Although the president doesn't actually take over until the beginning of next term, but we always have elections sort of like fifth and sixth week. Um, so there's a sort of few weeks that are kind of a handover period. Husts for all the other bench positions, um, including vice president, are going to be this coming Sunday. On the slightly less rosy side of what Oxford life is like, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I had a tube every day, which was a bit crappy, um, but it's because my extended essay questions for Paper 7 were released yesterday, so after that time you're not allowed to talk to your tutors about your work. The questions came out yesterday and they're actually quite good for what I want to write about, so... And I now have three weeks of just independent work where I have to write one extended essay of 6,000 words. That is it for the rest of this term work-wise, except for I'm also going to have a few classes on Middle English. Paper 6. I had a tutorial on gothic fiction, so I wrote an essay on Frankenstein and the Castle of Otranto and The Monk, which is one of the most horrifically disturbing novels I've ever read in my life, but, you know, I guess that's what you get for choosing to do the gothic. I wanted to say that, Daniel, it's really cool that you shared that with everyone. I think it's really important for people to know that a lot of us have moments where we kind of think, why did I come here, like, this is so much work. I'm under so much more pressure than I would be at another university. But um, I think, for me anyway, in the end, I have those moments, but ultimately like, I would rather be here than be anywhere else because I do have a genuine passion for my subject and I do really like being here and I do enjoy it, um, even if sometimes it all can get a bit too much. So, uh, my embarrassing story of the week. Wednesday, after my third shoot, uh, me and some of my friends went to a formal and then we went out afterwards. Um, and I have email access on my phone. I somehow managed to accidentally email the whole JCR. The whole JCR. So that is everyone in Mansfield who is an undergraduate student with this beauty of an email. And then tried to rectify it by posting this on Facebook. Once again, proving that people who go to Oxford are not perfect and sometimes do very, very stupid things that are very embarrassing and everyone in college will laugh at you. And yeah. <laughs>